I'm a special one. I wish I was right. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to OmniFoot TV, this is your host Omar speaking and today I would like to address Kepa Aritha Balaga. Now I've been wanting to make this video for a short while because to be honest I don't think we have ever lived in an era where scrutiny has been this rampant in almost anything considering the existence of social media obviously being the uh, main powerhouse in this conversation. Now, Kepa's move to Chelsea was criticized. His uh, hilariously controversial situation under Sarri made it even more so difficult to actually, uh, you know, understand his situation at the club, understand his mentality. And the constant, and I mean constant, barrage of errors that he has made on almost every occasion where he's been given a chance to improve have played against him. He's really worked against himself for a very long time. Maybe, you know, obviously he doesn't mean to do that, but you know, the human being can do that from time to time, but not as this, not this consistently. Now, here's where my mark of respect comes in, because to be so young and not to have the mentality needed and to go through a barrage of criticism, excuse me, for months and months on end, and then to find a way to get back up from it and not leave the club where everyone expects you to, when everyone expects you to. I think that that is a mark of a champion. That is the mark of a child, quote unquote, who has matured into a fairly capable young man. And, you know, cultural transitions are never easy where a player moves from one country to another, moving to, from Spain to England is never difficult, is never easy at all. Culture shock is obviously a thing. We always address a player's form, but we rarely ever address the uh, situations outside, outside the pitch that actually um, allow them to either perform well or badly and we barely ever take the psychology of it in regards to moving to an entirely new environment into play it's either they've done well or they've failed and there's no excuse around it or they've done quite badly but you know you can't give them slack for it but at the same time we never go into that side of things now I think this is well entwined into that but at the same time, it has a lot to do with how he's chosen to react, apart from the circumstances. You're given the circumstances, and you're given a choice. And the much easier choice, which I think no one would have blamed him for, was at one point being offered back to Athletic Bilbao on loan, I think. And you can all correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. The fact that that was floating around in and of itself was quite sad to see. But you just look at him now, look at how well he's been doing for the club. He's been stepping up as a second choice goalkeeper. Not many keepers would have agreed to becoming second fiddle, quote unquote. But the fact that he's become a second choice keeper and he stepped up every single time he's been needed, that is the mark of a good servant. It's the mark of a good player. It's the mark of a, of a mature human being and the mark of someone who's willing to keep learning and improving not letting the fear and anxiety just, you know, turn him into a ball of repressed emotions. Because that can be difficult. We sometimes forget how difficult the emotions can be to process in our sport as fans or as players. Because I think that as fans we can be quite harsh. Now, I would simply just like to commend Kepa for how well he's done for Chelsea. Not just as a Chelsea fan, but as a football fan. Because I don't think we want players to fail. Contrary to what it looks like, we really don't want players to fail. And he hasn't. He's done the exact opposite. And, you know, I'm gonna stop the video here. Uh, getting back into the groove of making daily videos. Please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comment section. 
Uh, the links to our social media accounts are in the description below. Follow us, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And I will see you next time the whistle blows. Cheers, everyone. Thank you all for watching.